C2C is the franchise that provides the train service over the former London, Tilbury and South End Railway, from Shubriness to London Fenchurch Street. This self-contained network covers the length of the Northern Thames Gateway, a total route mileage of some 71 miles. Our train is a four-car Class 357 Electrostar multiple unit, the first of these being introduced onto the route in 2002. Departing Platform 2, we can see various eight-car trains returning from the rush hour. To save on maintenance mileage, the eight cars are reduced to fours during the day. The U on the route indicator means that we're taking the up main. UR on the signal post stands for Upminster, the integrated electronic control centre there being responsible for signalling the entire C2C. Trains from Shubriness continue to Fenchurch Street over the main line via Basildon. From the Bay platform, we should be taking one of the half hourly services over the original LTS line. The more circuitous route diverges at Pitsy and runs along the northern banks of the Thames estuary via Tilbury. At Grays, trains leave the original LTS and take the single line via Ockenden, rejoining the main line at Upminster. The station here at Chalkwell only opened in 1933, an indication of how the whole area around the line has expanded since that opening day. Surprisingly, an express service ran along here to Shubriness, provided by the London Underground's district line. Commencing in 1910, it was withdrawn with the outbreak of World War II in 1939. You may be wondering why some of the overhead line gantries are so wide. This is simply because double track was being allowed for when first electrified. These single masts are newer replacements. The advance warning of a 50 mile an hour speed limit applies to the bay platform or the turnout onto the down main at Upminster. Onto the up road, the limit is 20. Bromley by Bow, one of the original stations dating from 1858, was sited closer to the River Lee but moved here in 1894. After crossing the DLR branch from Stratford to Poplar, we pass the site of Campbell Road Junction, established in 1902 by the Whitechapel and Bow Railway, now part of the Underground, which diverges here. The Docklands Light Railway from Canary Wharf comes in from the south on the original formation of the LMB. At the time of filming, a new footbridge was under construction to improve interchange between the DLR and C2C platforms here. A DLR train enters the platforms on the adjacent viaduct. Opened in 1987, the DLR has played no small part in the regeneration of London's Docklands in the early 1990s and is currently being upgraded for the second time in its 22-year life. Surprisingly, Fenchurch Street is the only mainline terminus in London not served directly by the underground, the nearest being the Circle and District Line station at Tower Hill. We'll now be travelling over the original LTS route. 
via Dagenham and Raynham as far as Grays, a distance of 19 and three quarter miles. Our train will depart from Platform 2, one of the half-hourly services calling at all stations to Greys. We get a good view of the District Line's underpass. At Tilbury Line Junction East, we continue straight ahead over the original Eastern Counties and London.